gentlemen, because this is week four of TTT, the final week of this baby. And if you've been working hard enough, those boots should be real tight by now. If you've been stretching out, they shouldn't be too bad. So guess what today focus is? Stretching, a little bit of a different burn. But we're gonna head on down to the ground here. If you don't know what TTT is because this is your first time, well, you can head over to day one and check it on out. But for today, we are actually going to be stretching it out. I'm not gonna hold it for the whole time or else we might be here for a while. But for you, you need to do this. So you wanna hold at the stre each stretch that we do, we wanna hold them static for 30 seconds to one minute. We wanna hold it, stretch out those glutes, help them with recovery and repairing so that we can hit them even harder. Uh-huh. All right, so let's get down onto our back here. The first stretch that we're gonna do is we're gonna um, straighten one leg and we're gonna bend one knee. You're gonna, you can either have um, like a strap or a scarf or a tie or something to put around the bottom of your foot if you wish. And so you're gonna hook it around the bottom, you're gonna put it up. If you don't have any, you're gonna be doing what I'm doing and you're gonna straighten your leg out and you're gonna bring it right across the body. Now, try and keep your shoulders square up towards the ceiling and really twist in your midsection here, bringing that leg straight across, and then you can lay the opposite arm out there and just breathe. Each time you hold a stretch, make sure you breathe throughout. It should never really hurt. It should just be slightly uncomfortable. So you should be feeling that stretch here. You're also gonna get a stretch in those obliques. And then you're going to breathe. So again, we're not gonna hold it. I'm just gonna power through some of these stretches. And then of course, you would do the other leg. So up, if that's too much for you, you can always bend the leg and bring it across as well. Opposite hand is holding that leg, that knee, and then you can put that arm out, hold and breathe. Feeling that stretch right there, good. Nice, and then we're gonna come up. So that's one stretch you can do. Another one is called or known as thread the needle. So you're gonna cross a leg over, flex that foot, and you want your leg to cross over about the ankle area, um, just above the ankle. And now for some people, this actually might already be a lot. So the more that you pull your leg up closer to you and push that knee away, the more it's gonna stretch in that glute of the leg that's crossed over. So then you're gonna grab, or you can have a strap again or something, loop around the back of your leg, or just lock your fingers, and then pull it in towards you. You're really gonna feel this stretch in your glute of the leg that's crossed over. Good, and then again, breathe. Inhale, each time you exhale, try and bring the stretch in even closer to you. Good, breathe in, exhale, bring that stretch in and hold. Again, don't pulse, do not pulse these stretches. You wanna just stretch and hold where it's uncomfortable. Excellent, and we're gonna switch and cross the other leg over now. Push that knee again away from you. Find that comfortable position for yourself, and good. Again, this should like, you know, it's not gonna be a burn, um, like when we actually contract the glutes, we're trying to stretch them out, lengthen out those muscles because they're so like gummed up. We really wanna stretch those out, good. That's it, and then just breathe. Each exhale, you're bringing it closer to you, and good. We're gonna stay in this position actually because it's leading us to our next stretch. So stay in this position, plant that foot back down on the ground, take the opposite hand and put it on the ankle there of the leg that's crossed over. So right now I have my left leg crossed over and I have my right hand on my ankle. Now the foot that is crossed over and that's flat here, that's up in the air, I'm actually gonna take that bottom part of my foot and I'm gonna just tilt it all down burp, until it hits the ground so I'm actually in a twisted position here now you can kind of play around with where that foot kind of slides up and down that leg to feel that stretch in that part right there so it's almost you're gonna feel it um, so if you go down from your hip bone right where your leg obviously is connected there you go straight to the back there's almost like a little circular area there you're going to feel it right in that spot it's, oh, it's just such a good one. I don't find any other stretches get that area specifically. So this is absolutely perfect for it. And if you want even more of a stretch, you can just push that knee away a bit and you're gonna feel it even more. 
Now, try and keep, again, your chest square to the ceiling and just lay there and breathe. That's it, stretching, again, has its very specific purpose. A lot of people skip out on it, but it's so, so important and good. We're gonna switch it up, bring it to the other side. You're gonna unlock that leg, bring the other one across, same thing, push that knee away. Opposite hand on that ankle and guide it down to the ground. Boom, hold it there and then twist chest up towards the sky. And then again, you can play with this foot where it is, push that knee away from you and you should be feeling it. Ooh, right in there. So toy one, toy, toy, toy. Hold it again, 30 seconds to a minute. Obviously, the longer towards the minute, the better it is. Get a real good stretch on there. And you can repeat these stretches two times, even three times if you want. Ah, nice, good. And bring it on up. Ah, oh, nice, good, shake it out. Now, another one, we're gonna come up onto our knees. And we are going to bring this one leg, it doesn't matter which one, just bring it out in front of you. And so it's, mine's a bit on a diagonal, it's whatever's comfortable, some people are really flexible and can get it square here, um, but mine actually comes in a bit, it bothers my knee if I do it too much uh, when it's uh, straight across. So mine's a, a bit on a diagonal, but I wanna try and take this hip and I'm gonna press it down in towards the ground Try to keep my hips square. So if I open up like this, I'm not gonna feel it as much in this glute over here. So if I push myself up on top of that leg, keeping my hips square and over top of each other there, and then I push down. And then of course, the further you come down, the more of the stretch you are going to feel. So if that's too much, you can put like pillows there. You can put something that's gonna assist you in trying to relax and release off and breathe. Now, I want you to do yourself a favor here. Flex your glute, really squeeze tight, 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 so you know, oh, I'm resisting the stretch, and then relax. <sighs> let it go and let it sink down. That's where you should be in your all stretching positions. Don't, like, really force the stretch, and don't contract your muscles, because then you're not stretching them out. You need to be relaxed, you need to breathe through them. There, there might actually even get a point where you're like, like you just almost get like frustrated or you feel like like I can't hold this anymore, I can't hold this anymore. That's when you actually you're getting to that point where your muscle is finally going to release. There's almost a bit of a resistance before it releases. So just try and hold it. If you get to that point, just breathe through it, feel that stretch, and we're gonna switch it up, bring in the other side, bring that leg up. There's always one side that's gonna be tighter than the other, and it's definitely this side. slide down but that's all right you're just gonna hold it so again if you're like oh I'm not flexible I hate stretching you don't have to be flexible to stretch everybody can stretch and the more that you do it's just like muscle conditioning the better you're gonna get at it so really honestly force yourself to stretch when you're done your workout hold these static stretches and you will find actually improvement in your performance and again, just hold that stretch. If there's something actually hurting, so there's a joint hurting or something like that, then try and position yourself so there isn't any actual pain. There shouldn't be no pain. It should just be uncomfortable. That's it, good. So just hold it there and breathe. And you'll notice the more that you hold it and the more that you breathe, the more that you're gonna be able to sink down. That's how muscles work. That's right, good. And again, these stretches are gonna be done after your workout because your muscles are nice and warm. You're really stretching and lengthening them out. Now that we're done stretching on that side, we're gonna bring it up and we're all done. I just gave you three basic stretches to stretch out your glutes. There are a ton more, or wait, did we did one, two, three, we did four actually, four stretches um, that you can use in your uh, lower body glute workouts, whatever you're doing there to give a little bit of stretch there in those glutes because they need it, trust me, they need it, especially if a job where you're sitting down a lot or whatnot, really, really important. You can even sit at your desk, cross that leg up there, just like that, and then lean forward, ooh, gonna feel it. I'm telling you, there's all kinds of way to get yourself a little bit more mobile and a little bit stretchy stretch. So make sure you do your stretches, but we will see you back here 
tomorrow for some more conditioning. See you then.